my day to day is crazy. <laughs> so in addition to trying to maintain and keep the relationships that I establish as a state CIO, I am looking at everybody's state strategic plan, their IT frameworks, and looking at all my clients and my client list and trying to match the, the, the perfect, get everything in sync and, and match them. Um, if a state has a certain cybersecurity need, which everybody does, I can take a couple of my clients in, we have a conversation, and then we see if there's a good fit. I miss my people. I miss the, the executive committees that I used to serve on. But I also um, have capitalized on that because of those relationships that I did establish. I miss serving the people but I think that I made some significant headway in Texas and did some really good things for Texas and put them on the map with technology. State CIOs, oh my gosh, if I knew then what I know now, and I know that I would meet with different vendor partners or vendors and I would listen to their solutions and I would give them an hour, an hour and a half, or as much time as, as they needed to convey to me what their solutions are. And, you know, I took it for granted that they had done their homework and they had read our state strategic plan. What I, my recommendation is, these guys on the other side, the side I'm on now, work really hard to understand what the states need. And a 30 minute meeting is just not enough. So, and I realize that, that time is valuable, but I think that they, that CIO should give the vendors the credibility that they need and give them a long time to, to, to sell their works. Bring the right people into the room. Would we have six or seven different program areas and at the same time, you know, you never knew what was going on. And people would say, well, what, what keeps you up at night? It was everything kept me up at night. <laughs> I think the proudest is the whole restructure, remodel of the data center. You know, we have 336,000 state employees in Texas. We had a, it was a billion dollar project. And I broke it up. We took some huge steps and risks to bring a different model in and work with a multi-sourcing integrator. If I could recommend, they need to stay engaged. They need to stay engaged with the newer technologies, what's going on. They need to listen to their customers. I always used to say that the state agencies were my customers and their customers are the constituents. So the CIOs, whether or not they have a good or strong relationship with their leadership, their governor, they need to engage with and stay hooked up with their, their peers as well as their constituents. They need to attend these conferences and then they need to be social. They need to take advantage of the technologies that are out there. So procurement is tough uh, and technology procurement is even more challenging, I would imagine. I think that just being, the customers need to be at the table to help make those decisions and to drive those relationships. And I think that's, you know, tr continue to build on what you have, put the right people at the table, have those monthly meetings, make those decisions around procurement, around finance, around whoever needs to be um, talking. They need to be driving it.